So another topic we can talk about is ring gap. So these rings are a set of 75 millimeter piston rings. So the bore is 75 millimeter. You could technically, you should technically measure your uh, bore to be exact. And then you can go to a site like uh, Wozner. They have a ring gap calculator because you need to gap your rings. They do not come pre-gapped. Uh, so I've already done cylinder, I'm gonna say one and two. So I need to do number three over here. Um, <clears throat> so what do we have? We have the first, the second, and the oil uh, return ring. Um, on the calculator, you can choose your application. So this is a forced induction uh, car with a 75 millimeter bore or 2.95 inches or something like that and then the calculator will spit out whatever uh, size you need and it came up with a 16,000 inch gap on the first a 19,000 inch gap on the second and then for uh, as far as the oil return ring goes I find mixed reviews uh, some say between 20 and 40 thousands of an inch I've seen someone mention 15 thousandths of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead with the 15 thousandths of an inch. Seeing how this engine already had oil issues, I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter. So in order to gap them, you need to insert the ring and then take some feeler gauges and measure them. So I put the ring in, now you want it to be flush. You want it to be level. So take another uh, piston with the rings installed and then you can just set it down, push until it doesn't go any further because its rings will stop it. And now this ring is completely level and flat. So then we take our feeler gauges. Let's start off with 10 thousandths of an inch and we'll try to put it in and move it up and down. If the ring doesn't move, then that means this is 10 thousandths of an inch. Let's go over to 11. Remember, we want 16. And now I can see the ring moving. So this means that the gap is too small. So now we need to gap it. You can buy specialized tools. You can do this with a file, fine file. I don't have a file, I don't have a special tool. Like a little Dremel would be fine. Uh, you could uh, use the cutoff wheel spin up the Dremel and then pinch the ring together until the or, or just one edge at a time till the edges touch. But I have some uh, fine like 800 grit, grit sandpaper over here on a piece of cardboard and it takes me some time but I can sneak up on the measurement. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll pause the video and I'll come back when I'm done. So now I've sent it down both the edges. I'll reinstall it. Like so. Oh, go in. Yes. Level. All right. Take my feeder gauges. Last time it was 10, 11, 12. I think let's try the 15. That's okay, that fits. Maybe go to 16. Where's my 16? Come on. Ah, this tiny one always gets stuck in there. 16. When 16 is still, ah, oh, it fits. Let's try 17. 17 should be tight, 17 is tight, so I cannot get the 17 in there. Let's see if we can zoom for you guys. Uh, where's my zoom at? Ooh, yeah. You can see the little gap. And this is 17,000. We'll try to put it in there and it doesn't fit. Barely fits in, but 
it doesn't go in all the way. So let's go back to 16. 16. And even 16 might still be a little bit tight, but it goes, no, it goes in all the way. And I can move it without pulling the ring. So that's okay. That's 60. Now for the second ring, so the second ring has a bigger gap. Um, and if you really want to be precise, you could take the first ring off of the piston and then gap it a little bit deep, deeper. Uh, if this were a race engine, you might want to gap it in uh, different locations. So like uh, go in the top, then at the bottom end, and then take like uh, the median of the two. But for this engine, stock engine, just uh, on, on the top here is okay. And I've noticed the second ring gap is a lot bigger. So remember the calculator said 19. Where is my 19? So 18. Here is 19 thousandths. And 19 thousandths does fit. All right. Uh, and on, on one of the rings, I even got up to like 20 or 22 thousandths. Okay, so that's that's all right. Then uh, let's take the oil passage ring. Uh, make sure we have the top. They are marked. Yeah, top. Let's put the edge over there, same as always as the others. Push it down, flush. And let's aim for 15. If it's a bit bigger, it doesn't matter, but I want at least 15. So the 15 does not fit. So let's go send this one down. So I'm back. I've already installed the ring. So let's see, I have the 15 over here. 15 fits easily. Let's just check. 15 is okay, 16 fits 17 getting snug but fits 18 all right so 18 snug 19 19 doesn't fit so 18 thousand of an inch i was aiming for 15 but if we see if we look online and we see like 20 to 40 thousands i'm guessing my 18 will do so all right uh, let's reinstall these piston rings onto their piston and then we can uh, go ahead and reinstall the pistons in the engine and do the valve stem seals next.